which is actually the, the, the most important uh, move and the, the most obvious for white. Black's idea in this position is to continue with bishop to f5 and develop some kind of initiative on the whites, uh, in the white center and uh, also with, with this active bishop and knight on e4. So we'll continue with d takes e5 in just a couple of uh, moments, but before this, let me show you what happens if white uh, chooses to play in the right way and, for, for instance, continue with the idea not to take the pawn but to refuse the, uh, the, uh, the, the sacrifice with a simple move pawn to e3. Well, after e3, black is having the opportunity to go with bishop f5. Now here is the threat of knight g3, as you can see. And um, now if white chooses to go with some move like uh, a queen to b3, with the idea now it seems that black's position should be bad because there is uh, a threat of c takes d and also queen takes b7 it's a, a very uh, it's a potential threat for white uh, black is able to go with knight to a5 very strong and now it happens really complicated situation in which i think that black is having reasonably good chances now after queen a4 c6 is possible and now uh, white is unable to take on e5 immediately because there is f6 and when this knight moves uh, back then there will be d takes c4 following by b5 next move if white takes he will lose a piece or otherwise after b b5 uh, black's position will be really very good here so um, for this reason knight takes c5 immediately is not a good option and after c6 c takes d is possible but after c takes d Black has uh, one really good way to continue. Now, after c takes d, queen takes d5 is following. And now, uh, it appears the question what is happening if uh, white simply takes the central pawn on e5. Well, after knight takes e5, there is a tremendously strong move in, in this position. And this is the move uh, knight to d6. And what is the point of knight d6? It just seems to be a, an absolute harmless move. Well, knight to d6 is with the concrete idea if white simply goes with the development of the king's side bishop with bt2, bishop to e2, there is knight b3 very strong and it happens clear the, the main idea of the move knight to d6. Now in case white plays a move like bishop f3, say with a temple, queen b5 if possible, and after the exchange of the queens uh, and knight takes b5, Rook, after rook a2, black could continue with the move bishop to b1, and it was the main point of the uh, of the idea of with knight to d6. And now the, the other point is that after knight takes b5, there is a threat actually on the on the bishop at, at c1, and there is no way for the white's rook to go on b1 because this uh, square is protected from the f5 bishop, so he controls it, and white is losing some uh, r really big material there. And uh, th this is the main point of the tricky idea with knight to d6. And because of this, white may try another options, but neither of these is not a good one. For instance, after knight to d3, black could continue with bishop takes d3. And after bishop takes d3, he could play knight to b3 with a tempo attacking the white's rook on a1. And after rook b1, it's possible for black to take the pawn on g2 with a tempo attacking the rook. And next move he could exchange the, the dark square bishop on c1, making a simple castle on the short side. And the white skink in the center will be too much exposed. So uh, black, white is feeling very uncomfortable and I think that black is having a real advantage in this position. So uh, for this reason, knight to d3 is not a good uh, variation also. Uh, after knight to d6, but what else? Well, it seems that a move like bishop to d2 should be logical just to make the movement of the rook to d1 possible, but it also doesn't help white much because now there is an idea after knight b3. And through d1, black to play the move pawn to a5 very strong, making the threat of b5 possible, and now if, if uh, before a5 black plays b5, uh, before a5 black plays b5, there will be queen to a6 for white. So this is the main point of a5, 
when black plays it now there is b5 and there is no retreat uh, uh, there is no square where uh, the white's queen can retreat on a5 a6 a6 so after a5 knight c4 in this position and uh, after this move black can simply continue with the move bishop to c2 immediately attacking the rook on d1 and in the same time making threats like uh, knight takes d4 possible so white is losing at this moment and it's really a very interesting moment how a move a simple move like knight to d6 in, in a position like this could be really decisive so after knight to d6 uh, black is uh, uh, practically uh, making white uh, to, to do some stupid move like knight to d3 and uh, broke his position totally so after knight d6 black is receiving an advantage so all of this means that uh, a move like queen to b3 and if white tries to uh, do some advantage with queen b3 it will be really a bad idea to continue like this and instead the best option for white to go uh, with is bishop to d3 in this moment but still after bishop to d3 black can play e takes d4 at this moment and now uh, if white chooses to uh, take with the knight with an idea eventually after after the exchange to have the potential threat of f3 in every moment uh, black can simply cast on the short side and now you see f3 is impossible because of the queen h4 very unpleasant check and after black castles on the short after white castles on the short side a simple move like bishop to g6 is possible and I think that this position may be a slightly better for white but still black is having very strong knight on e4 a possible idea in every moment to take on c4 create an isolated um, um, queen's file pawn on d4 and he could protect the d5 pawn uh, with c6 at every time so I don't think in any way that the black's position can be bad here I think that this is completely equal at this point so uh, this is the best way how white could continue uh, after after these moves but let's see what happens if after e3 and bishop f5 actually uh, in this position uh, well we just look at, at the queen b3 and bishop d3 so uh, what happens if white continues with some move like queen to a4 in this moment well after queen a4 black can simply do the short castle and in case of d takes e5 it is possible for black to go with rook to e8 simply attacking the e5 pawn and in case of c takes d queen takes d5 uh, next move black will retake the pawn on e5 and he will got no problems at all so very good position and uh, chances to get a, a even a slightly better position so this is all about the ninth e3 and uh, eventually these variations can arise after this uh, so um, before the e3 move after black plays e5 in this position what happens if white simply chooses to uh, chooses to take on on e5 with the d4 pawn well after d takes e5 black is continuing with the move bishop to f5 in this position making the real trade of knight g3 and doing white to uh, making white to lose one more tempo with his queen and now the problem is that uh, there is no uh, really good way where the white's queen can uh, go actually for instance if it goes to b3 there is a threat for black to continue with b takes c7 b takes c4 and now if black takes on b7 there is a very nice way to continue with knight a5 attacking the queen and now in case of queen b5 it is a possible uh, for uh, for black to go with c6 and in case of queen a4 I see some uh, material winnings uh, uh, for black after knight to c5 and knight c to b3 next move so it will be really bad for white to continue this way and um, it seems that queen takes b7 should not be uh, played but in case of queen takes c4 I can say that with a simple move like queen to d7 preparing the log castle the black's position is staying very well because of the strong knight on e4 and after the log castle black will prepare next to continue with some moves like g5 and h5 and uh, uh, 
the Pony 5 will be sooner or later lost, and I think that Black's, Black can get a really good perspectives on the king side. For this reason, Queen B3 is not such a good line. And let's take a look at the main line of this variation, which is after the queen to a4. Well, what happens after queen a4 is that the black could simply castle on the short side 